Hi, Mr. Collins here again, and I want to tell you a story about my brother. You see, he was serving as a Marine sergeant, but what he told me was pretty fascinating. He told me that when he got out of the Marines, he was going to retire a millionaire. And you know how he was going to do it? He was going to only put away. So what did I do? I went to my handy dandy Excel spreadsheet. Of course, I didn't have uh, 2013 at the time, but it pretty much worked the same way. In fact, I'm not even going to use the fancy formulas in financial calculating that would probably make this a lot easier. But just want to show you some of the power of what you can do with Excel. So he was about 19 years old. He's putting away $200 a month. Um, at the time, I think you could get about 11% interest. That's the average overall that the stock market has made. I think it maybe is down a little bit from that uh, overall because of the last few years. But uh, so he wanted to make a million dollars. And what I did is I came up with this little, you know, I'm going to add the amount. E3 is right here, E3, uh, which at the, you know, it starts out with zero. Uh, and then I add that. And then I think you're familiar with these dollar signs. Basically, everything in Excel is related to itself. So what I'm going to do is, but I don't want... You know, I want to be able to find this dollar amount and I want to find this interest amount every time. I don't want to have to do that. I could actually name this cell interest rate or something like that and then make the formula read a little bit more clearly. But I can just do A or dollar sign A, dollar sign 7 and divide that by 12. That would be the interest that he's going to get. So in month two, he's earned $1.83. And he's put in, uh, then you, of course, then go back to adding the A5, which is his $200 a month. So we do that for year one, year two, and so forth. So what you start seeing is just a, a pretty steady growth. The first year he made $127 or $25 in interest. Next year, it goes up to 500, 1,000, and so forth. But if you notice, by year, well, let's keep going over here a little bit. How old is he? And if you notice, I kept my headers here so I can uh, stay. You can freeze the, the top row uh, so I can keep a reference point. By year... By the time he's 30, he's actually making more interest than what he's put in. He's made more in interest than just money that he's put in. So by the time I think he retires, let's see, 19, he'd be out at 49. So let's take a look at what he did at year 49. Uh, by that time... He has $628,000. Ah, he didn't make it. But if he just waits till he's 54, five more years, and continues the plan, he's at over a million dollars. I don't think there's too many people here that if you're 19 years old, wouldn't mind retiring at 55 at... Um, you know, with a million dollars. Now, it does require a couple of things. One, you have to be very disciplined. Uh, but $200 isn't that tough to find. I know my daughter's going through a couple thousand dollars a month and can't seem to find any money left over at the end of the month. But then she gets five and seven dollar coffees and she has meals out and goes to concerts and all of a sudden, gee, what a surprise, there's no money left over. So, if you want it bad enough, some of you can probably figure out a way to get $200 just by scrimping on a couple of things. And then the other thing is it's the interest. 
Um, so you can't be putting your money in at 1%. I think you'll see if I change. See, that's the good thing. You can do what ifs. I can do my control home. I get back to my first line here. If I were to make this 1%, you saw the numbers change real fast. And we go over to age 49. Oops. Even by age 70, he's only got $163. $163,000. Not a bad chunk of change, but at the same time, <coughs> he's put almost all of the money in himself. 124,000 and only made 30,000 or 40,000 in interest. So, uh, very, this does show you the effect of interest. Where can you get 11%? Like I said, good investments in the stock market. Uh, insurance companies have annuities. Um, there are ways of finding these out there. Obviously, the risk is higher, but uh, over time, normally that makes a difference. Now, some of you are not 19 anymore. Some of you are even have told me you're in your 50s. This formula still works. It's just that you have to wait till you're about 90 to get your million dollars. Um, so uh, it does work. It obviously is to the advantage. So uh, those of you that are younger, please take advantage of the wisdom of this spreadsheet. I will uh, post it there. You can play with it. You can even start as early as you're 16. I have another spreadsheet. My son was a uh, different son. Uh, well, my brother isn't my son. <laughs> uh, I have a son that was 16 and I wanted to show how he could um, just put away $200 a month and he could be done putting away the 200 a month at age 21. Five years of just doing 200 a month. And normally, most kids don't have lots of expenses. They're still living at home. And, and you know, so the um, I do have a, a side story for my brother's situation. Um, he was going along on this path. And I, when I saw this, I was, I was really blown away. I just I couldn't believe that it really would be possible but it numbers don't lie it was possible so unfortunately for him or not you know he's not sad with what happened but he uh, met a woman and uh, they married and of course she wants a house and then they got a second house and they want furniture and all of a sudden <laughs> this plan is all shot to heck but they do have all of that and they've got a couple of kids and so forth so uh, but they were able to buy the house and do some of the other things because he had able on a sergeant salary uh, put away a couple hundred bucks a month he didn't have any other expenses the government was paying for his room and board um, he got to fly all over the world and um, so uh, was able to uh, actually have a bunch of money in order to put money down for a house and buy furniture and everything else. So as I was mentioning with my son at 16, let's see if I can bring that spreadsheet up. Um, so if I go here, oops, sorry. It's up here. File and open. Uh, my computer and my documents. All right, um, so same type of thing, um, monthly, how much is he going to put in monthly, um, and these are the months, 1 through 12 here, so by the time he's 17, he's got a couple thousand bucks, and again, you can play with this interest rate, and again, the higher it is, you'll see how this all works. But so let's plug in, oh, 
let's see. What? Let's try 10%. And enable the editing. Okay. So we're going to take 10% because we really need the interest to do our work for us. Okay, so year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. Okay, by the time he stops at 21, he'll have 14,000 in interest. He'll have 19,000 saved up. Now he stops putting in any more money. Okay, that's the key. The key is starting early and getting the interest working. So with $20,000 sitting in the bank, by the time he is 63 years old, not a bad retirement age still, uh, he has a million dollars. And that's with $20,000 in the bank doing all the work for him. Uh, again, finding interest vehicles that will do that um, isn't as easy as, uh, I, as it is to put it in a spreadsheet. But I will put these both out there for you. You can play with it. And I want to show you uh, the nested if statements next.